show y'all. I just finished filming a bunch of Facebook videos, which it's odd. I get, I feel like I get used to the vertical up and down, you know, do it. Cause I have certain days where I'll film YouTube videos and then Facebook videos is kind of what I'm doing today. I'm kind of breaking that rule and I'm filming both at the same time, but I get used to a certain place to look. I have trained myself to look up a little bit more when I do Facebook videos. And so now I feel like it's hurting my YouTube videos a little bit, but I am going to go start by visiting the horses. I just, I just visited Rita for a Facebook video. So now we're going to go visit the other horses and Indy and the other donkeys. But oh my gosh, I have to show you this beautifulness. Never mind, I said beautifulness and then Nate hopped down and now he's humbling Corny. Um, Nate, you, I think you've just like brought him more towards me. Now, as soon as I come over here, my chickens are gonna start talking to me because I haven't done their routine yet, but look who I found. A lot of y'all have told me you've wanted to see more of them too. They don't do a whole bunch and I feel like they're not here a whole lot because they're all across the farm. <sighs> that rooster is messing with my baby birds. But yeah, look at them. They are gorgeous, Jack and Diane. Oh, look at his colors. Man, if I could get more of these guys, I would, I would, but I don't know where to rescue them from. And honestly, I'm not gonna buy any because they are very expensive. So if anybody knows about any rescue peacocks, let me know. Um, also, if you know anything about any rescues, feel free to message me or Ellie on anything. I also have a WhatsApp on my Facebook if you wanna get in contact me. <coughs> contact with me quicker <coughs> than a comment because I don't see every comment but if you get me on whatsapp I definitely do I came to give Miss Ivy some love she's healing in here so um I'm pretty sure that video is out from Lester and Jamie that um she needed to heal a little bit so come to give Ivy some love but now we're gonna go, I thought this was a cat. It's not. Yes, I'm gonna come give you even more love after I see the boys. Yeah. I know, but you have to heal, honey, or it's just gonna keep getting worse. Yes. Okay. Let's go see the big, the big friends. I was gonna say the big guys, but there's definitely girls in here. Oh, cute little Indy. I wonder how close I can get to her. Now, are the boys going to want to see me? You are! Hi! Oh! Pfft. Hello! No? Okay. Did you move him out of the way? He's like, I'm going to go eat while you're uh, preoccupied. Huh? Yeah. I know. Oh! Thank you. Oh my! Okay, you just spit all over me. All over me. Hey, Voo. Yeah. Hey, Bev. So I didn't tell this story, but the other day, man, you don't realize how big Voodoo's head is until you get hit with it. And yeah, I said that right into you. What are you doing? You gonna bump into me? You don't realize how big Voodoo's head is until you get hit with it. I said that right. So my mom... And dad were over here helping me winterize things. If you know, I was having a really, really bad string of days and I just didn't know what to do. And so I called them and asked them for help. I don't, Bev, I trust you, but you're young and I know you can kick really quick. So I asked them to come over and we were giving, oh, Beverly, Beverly, girl, what? you're bumping into me. You're getting big, girly. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I didn't latch that, and you're not going to go push the gate open. Anyways, you don't realize... Okay, yeah, she's coming over here to do all that. So, you don't realize how big his head is until you get hit. So, we were giving the horses some treats that we have, and Voodoo had his head over the gate... But he was like kind of behind my shoulder. Let me flip the camera to show you. So if I was standing there, he was kind of, he had his head back here behind me. And um, he was just, he's just that long that when I was up against the gate, his head was back there. And Ellie didn't see this. If Ellie saw this, I bet he would have been concerned until I had a concussion. I'm telling them the story of when Voodoo smacked my head the other day. 
I said, you don't realize how big Voodoo's head is until you get hit with it. And sure enough, he got a fly and he flung his head over. But instead of going over my head, he cut it just a, a lot a bit too short and smacked me right in the head. And so what would you have done in that situation? You would have been like, oh, Lovey, are you okay? Let's go sit down. You know, yeah, you want to know thing. what my family did? What? They oh, all oh, busted out laughing. Oh, that was when they were Yes, here? they all busted out. What is he doing over here? This is not. He just wants trouble. What if I throw a cat at him? I wonder what would happen. Don't throw a poor cat at him. Okay, if the cat... Is it turkey tossing time? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I can't run. Oh my goodness, he's gonna toss the turkey. And there we go. Yep, I toss my chickens too. Oh, look at him. Hey, Jack. I was telling people if I could get more of these guys, I would love to, but I need like. Okay rescue ones you know how much these guys can go for in my chicken group there's people selling them for like a thousand dollars i think these were rescues weren't they or somebody just had them and i don't remember i don't know if somebody remembers tell us but the ones that i've seen recently but they're not this color because there's different kinds of peacocks um it's a different color peacock and there's albino ones too but the thousand dollar one was the albino one of course um, but still, I was shocked at how expensive they are. You know, apparently, not far from here in Crosby, there's a neighborhood. It's not exactly Crosby. It's kind of like in the middle between like Huffman and Crosby. Um, there is a neighborhood where somebody had peacocks and they got loose and they never contained them. And so they just kept reproducing and now peacocks walk freely around the neighborhood. They Whoa. like protect them. That's really cool. It's so cool. We need to go visit it one day. That happens in other countries like with indigenous species or whatever. <gasps> Remember when we went to Cancun and I was so shocked? Oh, I missed it. He fluffed himself out. No, Diane was about to fight with one of our oh, cats. Oh, that's they, like, not good. went head to head and then a oh. little bit retreated though. But no, in Cancun, there was just on the side of the road, a monkey. There were just <laughs> monkeys. And I was shocked. And our driver was like, like he, I, I don't think he understood why I was so surprised. It was like such a culture shock. He was like, y'all don't have monkeys on the streets in Whoa! America? Big old lizards on the side of the road. He it was, was like, crazy. He was like, what, Houston, Texas don't have lizards? <laughs> no, like, the no, not that big. <laughs> not that big. Look at him. He's gorgeous. I don't think the camera does him justice. Like, his colors are beautiful. Well, maybe if we zoom in a little bit. Maybe I don't know. Do I don't. No, it just really doesn't. Like, look in the camera and look at him. There's, like, green shades that you can't even see. And now this is where we get blurry and people are going to be like, Megan, you're shaking again. No, blurry. That's crystal clear. That, look, you can actually see the green remnants when you zoom in. Everybody's been telling me that I need to get like a selfie stick with the motion stabilizer because I move too quickly apparently. Really? Yeah, but I don't I don't know. I just haven't done it. So, I'm sorry. I I've been trying the to move stick slower. Selfie stick itself would be fun cuz you could get different angles. I could. Cuz you use a lot more angles than I do. I just hold it next to my chest and just talk for 10 minutes in my videos. <laughs> but in your videos you utilize all sorts of different angles. I do. I do walkabouts. I do walkabouts. What are you doing right now? I was going to feed the birds. Are you ready for feed time? Are y'all ready? Oh, excuse me, y'all. A little bit of hiccups. Okay, now here's what's gonna happen. We feed these guys a little bit later to incite them to kind of graze more during the day. But these guys get fed during the day, like right now, about this time, three, four o'clock. These ones get fed closer to six. That will change this weekend when the time changes because of course at like six, it's gonna be dark. Um, so we are going to have to change our feed routine coming soon a little bit, but that's okay. I guarantee we're not going to even realize the time change and there's going to be a night or two that it's going to take some adjustment of us trying to get back onto a new routine. Oh, you got happy birds. I hope. <laughs> Look at all the line up and shaking their tails. Go ahead. Hi, Adam or Steve. You know what? He may say that he's not the biggest bird fan. He, to be true, he doesn't say that, but he loves his birds, especially Hope. He makes sure Hope gets her fill of cracked corn. The rest we feed over by the pond. Oh, we got to walk to the, the, the pond. 
us telling them how like you might not think birds are your favorite right for me yeah but like not normally, but. but you're you're very extensive with the the birds that you feed especially hope yes like very extensive like you'll be like we need to go to the store for cracked corn just for hope <laughs> She's the only bird I think about in that way. You don't mean like I. You don't I think tell, about hey hey like that. The, no, the only one of those of, of those birds. Those. <laughs> People misunderstand me when I talk about the, you know, I guess favoritism or whatever. It's not that people think that I love some more than I love others, but that's never the case. Maybe people don't even think that. I just assume people will think that when I say Well, it. because that's when you say, oh, I think about her the most. That means she's your favorite. Yeah, and not exactly. Like, well, I don't mean that I love her. I love all the birds. I love Cornholio, even despite all that he does to us. I love Adam <laughs> and Steve. I love the geese. I love you the love ducks. the geese? Yeah, I love, I love every single animal we have, and I take care of all of them. But you like come, some come more on, than come others. On, parents out there, pa parents of multiple oh, kids. Oh, you're oh, you're hitting a slippery slope right here. He's hitting a slip. Is that hissy fit? I saw Johnny. <laughs> that one, that leader of the pack, is a pain in the butt. <laughs> I could have sworn I just saw Hissy Fit come from the church. Yeah. I don't I talked I was telling you the other night, I never see Johnny, Olga, and Hissy all together, but I saw Johnny and Olga over there. And I'm pretty sure that's Hissy coming up the road. They're about to have to share. Well they clearly oh. <laughs> they clearly don't share very nicely. Oh, Gus Gus. The, oh my goodness. Hi, birds. I just do not understand them like I understand chickens. Don't, don't, oh, oh, come on. Come on. He didn't care. He just shook it off. <gasps> oh, Carrie, don't. She's mean. Run, Finn. Run, Finn. And you thought Hero was at the bottom of the pole. He is. Hero. Look, no, he's being oh, smart. Gosh. He's so well, he's so at the bottom that he didn't even show up until after all the food's on his gone. Oh goodness. In the line of fire. Hero said so you don't want to be here, but Hero's better get bullied by some little Oh! Guys, goats are rough! And there's plenty. This isn't even their food. There's a big old row, a big old line of it. <sighs> Yeah, I know. You're hissing. You're mad. I get it. Ooh. I don't understand them like I understand chickens. You know? I, d I don't know. I don't... Not mentality. It is. <laughs> I look at chickens and I just... I get it. I get what they're saying. But I look at them and all I just see is... Attack. Cluster, cluster. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's a cluster F word, if you uh, if you know what I mean. That's what the geese are. It's a cluster duck. They're kind of cluster like, duck. Close enough. Cluster duck. Right there. Oh, move Weta, move Weta, move Weta. At least they don't faint over them. Yeah, they are brutal. Yeah. This is turned into the video where the geese take over. But I'm sure parents of multiple children, they love them all the same, but they have some they probably have more more in common with than the other more shared like maybe a deeper with. bond different bonds yeah. <laughs> and so it's the same way it's like oh poor I lulu I love, I love all the birds but i just can't help that hope catches my attention by far mm -hmm. the most of all the birds out there because her story is so unique the rest of them we got on our own somehow but hope, hope, hope just came to us on her own and stayed and stayed yeah Oh, old mama just put them in their place. Have you seen my Ooh. video? Yeah. Old mama's a rescue. She, um, she's tough as nails. Bad habits are forming mama. over there. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh wow. <laughs> oh, mama's tough. <laughs> she, here's the... Oh, my, oh, my gosh. Golly. I don't know who to feel bad for. The, oh. There's no one to feel bad for. This, this is this is nature at its finest. It's just natural selection. Geese start fighting. Old mama just defended herself and retaliates. There's no one to feel sorry for. I have to just say it again. Champ looks great. Thank you. Love. Champ looks amazing. 
And that's only, it's only been like what, a uh, month or two? Probably a month, month and a half. Like I said, bad habits. Do you see it? Yeah, I yeah, see Yeah, bad it. habits are forming. I know, but it's, she's going to get bigger. The ones will get longer. You know? Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Stuck in a few days. That's a win. You just jinxed it. No. She'll get herself stuck again. <laughs> it's been too cold to do a whole bunch of grazing. I guess that's true. They've been like, we're staying in the barn where it's warm. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for joining me and Ellie on this uh, whatever this was. On this video. This video. It wasn't quite a normal walkabout. It was, yeah. It was great. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you learned some more about the geese. That they're ruthless. I hope y'all enjoyed and we'll catch you next time with another one. Bye friends.